William. Here's to you, all American. Didn't think I'd make it this long. Well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, the toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Next right there. Next made! Next up! <laughs> Here's some wicked love. <laughs> oh, Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but I brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Absolutely, must tell you about the silver fish. It's deafening. It's a very small fish. Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, Paul Quicks. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? I know I said Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh shit, now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Black Squids. Hey! 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 We've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then we is still drunk and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, find Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. No Siri vibe. I haven't seen Ferguses on here or anywhere yet. Thank you. 
What's in it? Uh, let me see. Uh, tablespoon of ketchup. I have not seen his arm. Hey, Terra Billy. I might have some information for you. Hey, Parish Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? Christ, man, don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose. And uh, I wanted to say something romantic here, uh, Bernardo, right? No, oh, on occasion. <laughs> right. Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm. I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then I hunted the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Yeah, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play some to set the mood. <laughs> um. seen a man that angry. Thanks. All right. Fergus was last seen heading for the hangar field depot. Maybe he left his arm there. Ever feel like ever since? Ugh! This god off is supposed to crawl away and die somewhere for all I care. Max Hoss. I have one major pet peeve, Max, and it's bad metaphors in literature. Have a listen to this. George went to work on her rose bush like a gardener in springtime. Maybe. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Mr. Highfalutin author, but I'm reading your erotic mystery novel to get turned on, not the exact opposite. Max Hoss. I'm just a bit upset, is all, Max. Max Hoss. The lady doesn't kiss and tell, darling. But since I've never been much of a lady, I might as well just tell you. I had a bit of a romantic encounter with your friend Bombate last night. Yeah, and it seemed to me that we had a certain something going on. But the next thing I know, I am wrapped up in some sort of rivalrous triangle with that Nazi girl. I mean, how was I supposed to know he was spoken for? Exhaust. You're right, Max. He's nothing but a no-good womanizer. Bless his heart. And I should just... put him out of my mind. So, you were a teacher? History teacher. Yeah. I like history. It's just hard to tell what actually happened and what's bullshit. Kids in America today, they open a textbook and it'll say the Fuhrer painted the Mona Lisa. That's why they say history is written by the victors. I guess we better fucking win then. <laughs> right you are. The old Scott lost his arm. Well, sorry, I can't be of much help, brother. Vegas' his arm? On his body, I suppose. Hell, I don't know, bro. I haven't seen Herr Fergus's arm, Herr Bleskovich. I've been up all night decrypting the Odin codes. Maybe you should ask the new Fräulein, Professor, whatever they call her. 
She seems to always be putting her nose into everyone's business. Commander Fergus's arm? I know he has some kind of... I haven't seen Fergus's arm guy. Just looking at the thing. Okay, Arm. Where are you hiding? You looking for Fergus Arm? I heard he had some call with that. Not seen the arm of Fergus, brother. I was too busy drinking. Woo. Mr. Blaskovi, as writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you're out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Captain, have you time to help out better? Kitos, Captain Blaskovich. Stay on the platform. No, Captain Blaskovici. Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Craze will let me build a sauna in here. that Nazi bunker in Manhattan? Pigs use it as the base of operations. Well, we intercepted a transmission detailing all of the combat equipment they got stashed up in there. Get this. On the list is a fully operational constrictor harness. You should check out the brief on the wall map, man. For real. Let's pour some more gas in tank. Oh, my God. 
you trying to fucking kill me? Well, there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom. What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over there. Brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is gonna make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch and we are going to take her Grace. out. What? the height to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that, you dumb idiot? And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But uh, I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. Oh, you coming with us. <laughs> You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. 